Okay, guys, we're doing this jazz man. No, no, we have to say what's it called to us. What's it called? This jazz man. By Karen Earhart. Pictures by R.G. Roth. I bet that Karen Earhart is a fan of jazz music. What do you think? Mm-hmm. And this, this book, appropriately, is set to a song, a familiar song. Except we're going to jazz it up a little bit. Hey, look. Look at that trumpet. It's turned up like that. That's kind of interesting. We'll read about that later. Boom, ta 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 boom. This jazz man, he plays one. He plays rhythm with his thumb, with a snap, snap, snazzy snap. Give the man a hand. This jazz man scats with the band. Be the do do a. Now I'm do. Oh, this is Satchmo. That he would go. Be the do a do a. This jazz man, he plays now you, too. Now you tap your shoes. Oh yeah. This jazz man, he plays too. He makes music with his shoes. With a tap, tap, shuffle, slap. Give the man a hand. This man, this jazz man stomps with the band. Shuffle, step, shim, sham. Hop, step, slide. Is that how he taps? That's the sound of his feet. Mumbo! This jazz man, he plays three. He plays congas between his knees with a bibbidi bop, poppity pop. Give the man a hand. This jazz man pounds with the band. Now you do that. Tick a tuck, tick a tuck a tap, slap, pop, pop. Is that his voice? No, that's not his. That's just what it sounds like when he plays his conga drums. This voice. jazz man, through he plays voice. four. Okay, this, he this conducts voice, them so. through the score with a one and a two and a give the man a hand. Is that his... This jazz man, he leads the band. Bring it on home. Now you're cooking. Is that how he talked? I don't know how he talked. That's Duke Ellington. This jazz man, he plays five. He plays bebop. He plays jive with a biddly dee bop, a bee bop, a beep. Give the man a hand. This jazz man blows with a band. Beep bump, 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 a bop, bop, beow. Minton's, yeah, that was a club that Bird used to play at. Charlie Parker. This jazz man, he plays six. He plays solos with his sticks with a bump 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 bump. Give the man a hand. This jazz man beats with the band. Bump. Do his voice. I think that's supposed to be Art Tatum. Jazz messengers. It's Art Tatum, famous jazz drummer. Ooh, there's that bent trumpet. This jazz man, he plays seven. He plays notes that rise to heaven with a toot toot doodly doot. Give the man a hand. This jazz man wails with a band. Doodly doodly doot doot toot toot. Actually, he would go doodly doodly doot 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 doot. That's Dizzy Gillespie, and he he had a special. Well, I think he had it, his trumpet got bent that way, and then he liked it, and so he had his he had a trumpet specially made that uh, that was bent that way because he. That's actually, right. It says what, "Rise to Heaven." Yeah, that's right. This jazz man, he plays eight. He plays keys all eighty-eight with a tink, plink, plinkle, dink. Give the man a hand. This jazz man swings with the band. Dink, 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 plink, plink. A piano. Yeah, a piano. And I think that that is supposed to be... What does that say? Something Club Bohemia. 
I think it's supposed to be um, Fats Waller. Although with the hat, it could be, um, it could be somebody else. It could be Thelonious Monk. I think it's Fats Waller. This jazz man, he plays nine. He plucks strings that sound divine with a thump, 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 thump. Give the man a hand. This jazz man jams with the band. Thump, 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 thump. That's Charlie Mingus. These jazz men, they play ten. We beg them to play again with an encore. We want more. Give them all a hand. Can I count them? Yeah, count them. There's nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. I thought there was ten, because there's a ten right there. Well, no, this is the tenth page, and we're just looking at all of them. These jazz men make one great band. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Let's learn about who they are. The first one was Louis Armstrong also called Satchmo, easily the most influential musician. Let's zoom in. Easily the most influential mu musician of the 20th century. Armstrong revolutionized jazz by improvising or making up tunes as he went along. Not only did he create new melodies through inventive trumpet solos, as in West End Blues, he even improvised when singing. This kind of nonsense singing is called scat, and gravel-voiced Armstrong made it popular with his recording of heebie-jeebies. The undisputed ambassador of jazz, Satchmo got the whole world swinging. And this is Hold on. Bill Bojangles Robinson from Richmond, Virginia. Robinson made music and history by tapping his shoes or tapping his toes with a style and speed never seen before. Some of his signature steps, like the up, up and down stairs routine, continue to be performed by tap dancers today. A star of the stage and screen, Robinson appeared in movies such as Stormy Weather, opposite Lena Horne, and The Little Colonel with Shirley Temple. Ever light on his feet, Robinson celebrated one birthday by tapping down Broadway, 61 blocks, one block for each year, and into the theater that he was appearing that night. Wow. This, the playing the Congos, was from Havana, Cuba. Hey. Was... Luciano Chano Pozo y Gonzalez. Pozo. He was from Havana. Yeah, Pozo was a celebrated conguera, or conga player, and composer of carnival songs in Cuba when he moved to New York City in 1946 and began playing with the jazz giant Dizzy Gillespie, who we'll get to in a minute. Pozo's sizzling beats Which transformed Gillespie's want? bebop into Cubop, a blend of Afro Cuban rhythms and jazz. Marveling at Pozo's ability to Which dance, sing, and play are. simultaneously in different rhythms, Gillespie said, I've never, I never knew how he could do that. Here's some of Pozi, Pozo's fiery drumming on Manteca and Tintindeo. Easy. <laughs> Playing four from Washington, D.C., Edward Kennedy, oops, this is actually Edward Kennedy, the Duke Ellington. Ellington was a gifted pianist, yet it was together with his orchestra that he was most dazzling. Uh-oh, we lost our light. A preeminent composer and conductor, Ellington tailored his sophisticated musical pieces to each of his dozen or so musicians, while also anticipating how all of the instruments would sound in unison. Ellington wrote nearly 2,000 compositions and in 1969 was awarded the highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Listen to Ellington's big band in full swing on songs like It Don't Mean a Thing and Take the A Train. Yeah, we don't need it. This, from Kansas City, we don't need Kansas, it. Charlie Bird Parker. Hey, watch out, bud. Where's Charlie Bird Buck? He's the one playing the alto saxophone. That saxophone looks a little big. For, well, maybe not. 
A legendary jazz soloist, Parker played the saxophone and an unmatched blend of eloquence, subtlety, and exhilarating spree speed. He would alter the accents and phrasing of a well-known song so completely that it was no longer recognizable. Together with Dizzy Gillespie, Parker created the complex melodies and unpredictable harmonies called Bebop. Known for practicing a tune in several keys to learn it inside and out, Parker once said, Master your instrument, master the music, and then forget all that and just play. On songs like Coco and Scrapple from the Apple, he makes it sound so easy. Guys, we should listen to some of these guys' music after this. And Art Blakey. Art Boo Blakey from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Blakey was an innovative drummer this whose one. press rolls, leaning an elbow of the drum surface to change the intonation, were mm -hmm. imitated by many. Blakey's explosive style was the, was the backbone of hard bop jazz classics like Monin and Drum Thunder. Combining mm -hmm. bebop improvisation with a driving blues backbeat, hard bop featured Which lengthy solos played by various musicians, the drummer. What number are you on? Various musicians. What when the, number? What number? Number six. When the soloists ran out of ideas, Blakey would play new rhythms to inspire them. Over a span of almost 40, di 40 years, dozens of young musicians earned their chops or learned their craft as members of Blakey's band, the Jazz Messengers. And then, we've heard about him already twice now. Doot, doot, doot. John Burke's Dizzy Gillespie, playing Seven from Chira, South Carolina. Gillespie was a trumpet player without equal. Finding swing music too predictable, he and his comrade Charlie Parker started a jazz uprising with bebop. Fast and furious, bebop challenged listeners with complex rhythms and wild improvisation, giving Gillespie a showcase for his spectacular skill. Salt Peanuts and A Night in Tunisia are two of his quintessential tunes. Not only did Gillespie have a trademark look, goatee, glasses, beret, and ballooning cheeks, his horn was also one of a kind. Someone accidentally bent the bell, the flared end, and his trump of his trumpet. And Gillespie liked the trumpet's new sound so much, he played it and ones like it for the ne for the next thirty years. Hmm, <laughs> interesting, huh? And then the pianist was from Harlem, New York City, Fats Waller, Thomas Wright Fats Waller. Waller was a master of stride piano, which involves the left hand keeping a constant rumbling beat and the right playing light, bouncy melodies. Equally talented at composing, he wrote and recorded hundreds of songs. Waller was also a popular entertainer, performing in nightclubs, theater productions, and films including Stormy Weather with Bill Bojangles Robinson. Setting his bowler hat at a jaunty angle, he'd roll his eyes and make faces while singing and tickling the ivories. Waller's rambunctious wisecracks during live broadcasts of songs like Your Feet's Too Big won him millions of fans and colorful nicknames such as Radio's Harmful Little Armful. <laughs> and then, playing nine from Watts in Los Angeles, Charles Baron Minkus. Minkus was a phenomenal bassist, one of the few to reach the ranks of band leader. Raised on gospel music and classically trained, Mingus learned about jazz firsthand from Armstrong, Parker, and Ellington. Working with these master musicians together with his, with his love of blues and Latin music inspired Mingus to create a unique sound rich with emotion and personal meaning. Later he found the, founded the Jazz Workshop, a group that promoted young composers and started his own company to publish and protect his original pieces. Whether honoring his mentor, saxophonist Lester Young, with songs including Goodbye Pork Pie Hat, celebrating his faith in Wednesday night prayer meeting, or protesting inequality with Fables of Fabus, Mingus always had a story to tell. Are these people still alive? I don't think any of these guys are still we alive because they lived a long you. time. The end. Now let's yeah, let's listen to some of their music now. That's a great book.